Thank you, Ace of Hogan. That is awesome. You're amazing too. We appreciate the uh, the nice words for sure. Me and the little squirrels in my head. Um. So this piece here is actually interesting. Um. So this is from um. 2013 maybe 2012 um, and uh, this was one of the first times we broke out the prompt switch in a camp environment and a prompt switch is a is a tool or a, te a technique that we use to change a cue so when we want to change a cue it's a prompt switch the cue being the prompt and switch meaning change and so um, what you do is you take the new cue and you follow it by the old cue. Uh, another way to think of that, you take the cue that doesn't work and follow it by the cue that works, the cue, the signal, or the stimulus that works. You pair those two long enough, and the one that predicts the working cue or the strong cue uh, starts to become the cue itself. It's a super powerful tool. Um, we use it for all kinds of things and uh, it's really awesome if you recognize that something you're doing is creating a behavior if you want to drop a cue on that all you have to do is say your cue before you do the thing that is eliciting the behavior and uh, you can put that cue on it very quickly it's very important that you don't give the strong cue first or the cue that works first if you do that Everything that happens after that cue will be noise. And um, so like if I, if I notice that lifting up my hand, lifting up the disc in the pose, this is a good one, this is great, I think I'll use this. So if I notice it, lifting up the disc in my pose, boom, makes the dog drop. What I wanna do is I wanna say, aus, boom, aus, boom, aus, Boom, teeth off, pow, right? Um, what I don't want to do is do this and then say aus. If this is making it happen, this lift is making it happen, and then I, whatever I do after that is complete noise. The dog doesn't even recognize it. So um, you have to be kind of careful with that. If you're going to use a prompt switch, it's weak cue followed by strong cue, or Another way to think of it would be the cue that doesn't work followed by the cue that works. So, um, so yeah, um, Lauren Lakota, uh, Lakota was very, very good at retrieving. A lot of dogs that do um, toss and fetch as a foundation, they, uh, they are very good at, um, at retrieving, right? Thank you.